All right, welcome back to another exciting episode of Fix It Yourself Dummy. Today's episode is brought to you courtesy of me, because I tried playing God. I flew too close to the sun with my 20-plus-year-old home light weed whacker that has served me admirably, never had a problem. So, last week I decided to buy a new trimmer head, to buy one of these pivot trims, uh, put it on, went to fire up, wouldn't run. She just didn't start. So, I pulled the carburetor off. Right, one problem is the uh, priming bulb it has a big hole in it. All right, the, uh, the tube for the priming bulb split. I don't know how this all happened at once. So, I ordered a uh, carburetor rebuild kit from uh, ereplacementparts.com. It's supposed to be here today. So what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for the mailman is I'm just going to soak this whole thing in a, in a little gas bath. I probably should put more more gas in there. Yeah, good enough. I'll just let it soak. When the parts get here, oh yeah, but ereplacements.com did not have a uh, new fuel line because they no longer manufacture it. Now you can buy a whole replacement carburetor for 50, like 52 bucks. The uh, rebuild kit, which I really didn't need, all I had to do was get really the priming bulb, which was like three bucks. The rebuild kit was uh, 10, so I just ordered that, you know, because of shipping. I don't want to pay for shipping on just the priming bulb. So I went to my local John Deere dealer down the street and got some, uh, I'll put a gas line here. So, when the parts get here, we'll uh, take the carburetor apart, rebuild it, and fire this bad boy up so I can try my damn pivot trim head. Alright, see ya! Okay, so while I'm waiting on the postman, the carburetor's been soaking a little bit there. I'm just gonna get a toothbrush and. I like to clean my toothbrush out every now and then. It's a good way to do it. Get all the grime off here. You know that weed whacker too. The other thing I've never done in the whole time I've owned it, I've never, never even checked the oil on it. Thing. So I mean, it's a freaking awesome machine. But when you, uh, like I say, you know, you get a little too big for your britches. Think you're gonna change what was obviously created in the image of an engineer somewhere? You you wind up with trouble. So anyway, well, that looks pretty good. This carburetor, nice and clean. Um, now I'll take it apart and uh, let the stuff soak again. This should be interesting. So we'll take the bottom off first here. Oh, I gotta get my magnet tray out here too. So I don't be losing anything. Do -do 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 -do. I've been going all old school lately. I haven't been using my power tools for nothing. I don't know why. Alright, so... I'll show you this primer bulb. See that hole in there? That ain't the way they're supposed to be. So I'll set that to the side there. Set this over there with that. I'll take this the diaphragm off on the bottom here. Well, I think I will. And my knife is inside. Let's see. Here. Be a, little, a little slotted here. Try to get it off without ripping anything. Alright, so there you have that. Got your needle valve in there. All your other hoop me doots. Alright, so that went on that way. So you're gonna go on here this way. I wanna keep things so I kinda remember which direction I went. So we got that up. Now the new kit is supposed to have a new needle valve and everything, so um we'll see here. Let me take this off. So that's what you have up there. This one's in good shape here. This little screen or whatever it is. A little screen, and we got a gasket. It all actually looks pretty good. Put that there. Oh, the other thing too, when you're looking for the parts, now this carburetor is a, a Walbro. 
So you can go to that ereplacementparts.com and look up Walboro. And then uh, here's the model number. WT318. You look up that and then you can find the parts for it. You know, if you don't know your model number of the product you're working on or whatever, as long as you got your carburetor number, you can basically find whatever you want. So. Oh, look at this. A little bit of schnott in there. Hmm. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. So. Alright, well, I'm going to drop this, the carburetor block back into the gas and let it soak for a little bit. And, uh. I need a little more gas to it so it covers it up. This is a mixed gas, too. This is for a two cycle, but it's no good. It's good enough for cleaning. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, so my mail, which is generally here religiously by 10 o'clock in the morning, is still not here yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that uh, needle valve out. I don't know what that stuff is. Looks like stinking chewing gum. So we'll do that real quick. While I'm waiting on our, on our parcel post. So I'll just take this screw out here. that screw, set it aside, there's the spring, and the float pivoter thing in the jiggity arm, or the, or the uh, needle valve, and there's the needle valve, looks, uh, for as old as this stinking weed whacker, it looks like it's in really good shape, so, alright, I'm going to soak it some more, and I'm going to blow everything out with compressed air, I'm not going to pull the butterfly valve out and all that stuff, because no sense in that. Um, I just blow it out real good. Reassemble it when our new parts get here. They better freaking be here today. Set out for delivery this morning when I checked it at seven. So, all right, that's it. Well, let her soak a little bit more and be back. Okay, so when you know it, the mail's still not here yet. So it's been soaking for a while. I'm just gonna blow some passages out, whatever I can see. I know this thing looks pretty clean to me. Except for a little gasket residue there, which is no big deal. I can get that off. Hmm. I'm gonna do that. Where's that air coming from? Look at that piece. Oh, it's coming from my tear duct. Freaking moron. Hey, we got that. Like I said, I'm not sure what comes in the rebuild kit, so. I'm uh, not going overboard right now, so we'll see what happens when the, when the post gets there. Alright, yeah, we'll be back. Alright, so the mail decided to finally get here. It took freaking forever. So, this is actually quite a uh, comprehensive 
rebuild kit from uh, from this e-replacements.com. Oh, son of a crap. I had already opened it. Um, well, they even give you a little fridge magnet. Uh, it has more stuff than I'm going to use. Um, I mean, if I had to do a complete rebuild of this, I would, but I mean, I didn't even really have to do that. I just figured I'd pull it apart to clean it. So, but you can see, I mean, it, it comes with everything for everything. Um, more gaskets than, uh, than I know what to do with. Um, got a nice screen here. Of course, the screen that's in the carburetor here is... Let me see, it's... That's clean. I mean, there's nothing nothing wrong with it. So no sense in doing a... You know, going overboard. Plus, it's late in the day now. And I really don't feel like screwing around with this thing. But I do want to get my weed whacker working. Because I want to try that, that pivot trim head. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, damn it. I forgot to put the... Uh, <laughs> freaking uh, needle valve in. Oy. It's been a long day. All right. Stick you down there. Let's see here. All right, so the new one. I don't even know if I'm going to use it. I like the old one. I know it seats properly. I'll stick the new one in. So I'm just going to use the old one. Ah, you son of a bitch. There we go. That's probably a better way to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you are. Can you see what I'm doing here? Or what I'm not doing? Oh, you fuck. Excuse my French. God bless America. Well, that was a freaking... pain in the ass. Come on, kind of like trying to work on a freaking iPod, trying to replace the screen on, a, on an iPod. I mean, it's not that hard, but jeez. When you get fat fingers and bad eyes. But, uh, all right, so. Spring is functioning. Everything will look good. All right, so that's that. Let me zoom out here, whatever. Back out. All right, so we'll put this back on. Let's see, this bad boy went on there. That looks like that, all right? Yes. So this is a... I don't like that. I still gotta cut the old uh, gas line off of here. Or the uh, primer. Yeah, whatever, it's gas on still. You know, I think these cutters are the favorite tool in my toolbox. I use them for everything. Alright. So everything's good and clean. Good and plenty. Stick that in there. Stick you on there. Hmm. Doesn't feel as uh, snug as it did the first time I put it on there. Mm. 
know any of this stuff. You want the stuff snug, but you don't want it reefed, you know. Because you end up screwing something up. Stripping threads. Oh yeah, that's what it's supposed to sound though. Okay. Oh, now the top here. So this goes on to there like a that. So that's going to be there. So we first have this thick gasket, which is this one here. So that will go on the Well, this one here, I'm not really sure why, but there's one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if these are different, uh, whatever they are. Well, I'm just going to put it together the way it came apart. Do, do, do. So this one here was there. Right. So you're going there. And this one was here, but I don't know if it's gonna make a difference or not, but see how this has uh there's little flappers in there. The new one doesn't. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Um this one here does, but it's cut out up there, so I don't know if this is supposed to go there, and then later. Hmm. <coughs> oh, well, crap, even this is different. Here's a new one. And here's the old one. So that is different. Huh. So it must have to... You know, I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the proper one. Alright, so this must be... This must be a, a kit for several different carburetors. Yeah, there's the right one. Hmm. Alright, so we got that. And... You know, I'm going to use the old one of these, too. Because... I don't know if I need that. Um, so I'll be using the old one. If it don't work, I'll take it apart and break it till it does work. All right. That's a good enough way. All right, so basically that's it, bam, done. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put the uh, new uh, primer line down here into the gas tank. I should probably remove the gas tank, but I don't feel like it. I'm gonna see if I can get it this way. All right, well, since I can't find my uh, stinking regular extension here, I'm kind of jerry-rigging things here. It looks like it's supposed to be a T27, but I need a T25 in this one. Just because I can't, uh, I don't have the depth to, to uh, get to where I need to be. All right, so that's off. Now, you know, I really just don't even feel like doing this. Too much other crap going on. I mean, I was all gung ho earlier, but. These here, uh, end of the day. Hmm. But is that really what I want to do? Well, we'll see.
Well, there's your uh, piston or uh, rod and crankshaft right there. Pretty cool. All right, so let me set that there. Yeah, that must be my. Uh huh. There's a piece of the primer hose, the original, in the gas tank. See, that went, uh, right there, blam, all perfect fit. So, let's see if I cut a piece long enough. There's this one. Oh, yeah. Yep. Which means I want to be down in there, uh, right to the, uh, right to the lettering right here. I don't know if you can see it. All right. Yeah, that works better. That's a lot easier. Thing of beauty. Done. Bam. All right. Otherwise, I would have been here dicking around all night. All right, so now I could just... You know, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... i to stick the carburetor in now or put the fuel tank in? No, I'll stick the carburetor in now. What the heck? Might as well. Let me just be going this way. Casey, shut up. Okay. You're going in there. Oh my god, I'll tell you what, if you ever want to put a bullet in a dog's head, I do too. Alright, so I gotta be on the Let's see, I was in the third, I think I was in the third hole here. Shut! Like that. That one on like that. One, two. It wasn't in the other one. <laughs> no, that's where it was. All right. That's good. All right. Now, let's stick the... Um, I should have cleaned this fuel tank up, huh? Oh well. Gotta get them out there, out there. Now, this one's gonna be. That's for the primer. Boy. Alright, that'll be good. Good enough for the government. And you, come up here. Alright. That looks good. I see we got past the smell, we got our licks now, right? You know what they say? Isn't that what we used to say? I don't know. Alright, put the... I guess that's the head. Head back on. No, that wouldn't be the head. That'd be, um... Whatever. Alright, so we got you. And you. Shoot you back again. Oh. All right. Uh, oh yeah. Put this back on there. Stick one of these back in there. Am I getting these? Yeah. All right. Right, 
That's a good. Twenty five or twenty seven works. All right, we got that. Now let me uh, see the uh, the new line for the primer is right here. They really didn't uh, think that very well when they filled the holes in the fuel tank because that primer line is at quite an angle there. So, but. All right, let me go get the, uh, the filter. Throw some gas in there, we'll fire this bad boy up. Okay, so my filter element just stand to be replaced, but we'll do that at a later date. I'm not worried about it right now. Oh, you know what? I gotta put freaking nuts back on there. And you can tell this is uh, old because uh, when I went to pull this apart, um, I automatically grabbed my 10 millimeter and these are not 10 millimeter. These is uh, American sized. Let me go get my I should have put some oil in there because I do believe it's supposed to be a wet filter. Well, if it runs, I'll do it. Not really. All right. Here we go. I'm going to throw some gas in this puppy. Oh. All right, now the uh, get the whackers back to life here. I want to see if it uh, if this pivot chain will work in the fence I can show on the TV. So let's see here. replace that so that's enough for today all right yeah this pivot trim I don't know I think it's a just a bunch of uh, I don't know whatever hey, as long as it'll whack a weed I don't give a shit all right that'll be it see ya all right well we're gonna go ahead and just finish fixing this up I don't want to stick with it tomorrow I was gonna just call it a day but might as well replace that line there replace the line It should only take a second, so we shall see. Alright, now I gotta get that there. Okay, so as you can see here, this fuel line decided to break. Um, you know, I might just be able to. I'm just going to clip it off and instead of putting a new line on, because this line doesn't feel bad. Of course, now with that fuel tank on there, it's going to be a... 
gonna be a tight fit. Crap. Crapper, crapper. Hmm. Let me, uh, let me get a little pair of pliers. I'll set a needle nose just a second here. Let's see what we got here. In my bag of tricks. Yeah, this pair looks like it'll... Looks like it should work. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so there we go. Fixed. Hopefully. Alright, I'll shoot this in with the I mean, little impact just to be sure we're snug up enough. Alright, now, one more time, we're gonna try firing her up here, so, let's go over here. Be all. I don't want to be working in this thing uh, at least for 20 more years. All right. See ya.